What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and welcome to iOS 9.3. By now, most of you guys have updated and learned that there are a ton of awesome new features on this firmware. But how's the performance? I've heard many claims of iOS 9.3 making lower end devices faster, like the 4S, 5, and 5S. Animations seem to be smoother, but really, when we get down to the nitty and gritty and actually test this, let's see how iOS 9.3 compares to iOS 9.2.1 in an ultimate speed test showdown. I'm gonna try and make this as compact as possible, but I am testing every single device that's currently running this new firmware. So 9.3 versus 9.2.1 fight. All right, so let's start with the boot up test. Now on the left, we've got iOS 9.3 with the blue wallpaper on the right, 9.2.1, and they're color coordinated, basically to make this a little bit easier to discern. Now we're gonna be testing the startup, Geekbench, actual animations and performance, and I wanted to test Touch ID and Safari performance as well. I heard that there may be some improvement in Safari that's worth checking out. All right, let's shut these guys down. All right, startup test in three, two, one. So these are all connected to the very same power bank in order to get a more even synchronization of the startup. Startup doesn't really tell us too much, but as iOS progresses more and more updates, there are more features making this thing heavier to load. And that can definitely be seen and reflected in the startup. So here we go. The 5S is understandably going to load first and looks like 9.2.1 is first by two seconds or so, uh, faster than 9.3. Next is the iPhone 5, and 9.2.1 loaded a full three seconds faster than 9.3. Lastly, 4S, 9.2.1 loaded already a good four seconds faster than 9.3. So a pattern here can be seen, 9.3 boots slower. All right, same deal, synchronized startup in three, two, one and they're off, and 9.3 is on the left for each one. Let's see how the newer devices do. 9.2.1, a half a second faster than 9.3 on the 6S, and just a tad bit faster than uh, 9.3 on the 6. So, definite pattern here, iOS 9.3 is slow to boot, but that could be explained by the possible new addition of features. All right, starting with the slow of the slow, the iPhone 4S, and we're gonna work our way up to the newer devices. Let's try Spotlight Search, one, two, boom. About the same time, both pretty dang slow on that one. App Switcher, one, two, Man, definitely a little bit sharper in 9.3. It was a little faster to respond there. One, two, yeah, definitely noticeable. So I'm gonna clear out the entire app cache and let's try to load settings. 9.2.1 loaded it faster. Let's try camera. 9.2.1, wow, and app store. 9.2.1 loaded that one faster as well. So not seeing a good trend here. Last Safari test to reddit.com in three, two, one. 9.2.1 loaded that one faster as well. Moving on to the iPhone 5 Spotlight. About the same here. App Switcher, one, two. 9.3 was more responsive. So there's that improvement in animation. With a cleaned out App Switcher, let's launch settings. 9.3 was just a little bit faster. Let's try camera. 9.3 loaded that one faster and App Store. 9.2.1 loaded this one faster. Overall, animation-wise, seems like 9.3 is the winner on the iPhone 5. Let's try Safari. Loading link in three, two, one. 9.2.1. I loaded this one faster. In animation, 9.3 wins here. In overall speed, 9.2.1. 5S, let's try the spotlight. Same exact time, different lag in the animation though, which is interesting. App switcher, exactly the same. Control center, no lag noticeable. So let's try settings. Exactly the same. Camera, 9.2.1 was just a smidget faster. And app store. 9.3, noticeably faster on 9.3, good stuff. And a Safari link in three, two, one. 9.3, wow, definitely noticeably faster in Safari even. So moving on to the iPhone 6, Spotlight, exactly the same, control center, wow. 9.3 pulled that up slower, interesting. One, two, 
app switcher is the same. So let's try settings. The same camera. 9.3 was open just a little bit faster. I mean, this is really, really small differences, but it was open faster in App Store, a web-based app. 9.3 loaded that one faster. So last one, Safari Link. One, two, three. And 9.2.1 loaded that one faster. Man, that's so interesting. Picking up the 6S model is definitely so much heavier uh, than the 6, but anyways, same deal, Spotlight. Wow, faster there. Control center slower to bring up on 9.3 and app switcher one, two, same. So settings, same cameras, exactly the same actually, 9.2.1. So guys, I just like to add that in 9.3, that animation glitched to remove it completely still works. And you guys can find that in the description down below. It'll make your device faster than iOS 9.3 possibly could. And just because I was curious, let's test touch ID speed from a blank off display. One, two, three. Wow, exactly the same. So I had an issue with Touch ID on 9.2. It has been since resolved in 9.2.1, but I thought I'd test it anyway. It seems like Touch ID is just fine on 9.3. And before I forget, there was something I did want to mention. So in a previous video, I did talk about choppiness inside of the settings when uh, going through submenus. So when you go back and you slide like this, there's a choppiness. It hasn't been fixed in 9.3. It's still very choppy going back and forth. And that's something I did not have in 9.2. So I hope this is something Apple fixes in 9.3.1 or uh, you know anything beyond that. So let's move on to the Geekbench. All right, and here is the Geekbench result. I'm actually very surprised in every single device, but one area on the 4S, iOS 9.3 proved to have the higher numbers, and that's quite some consistency. So this Geekbench is telling me 9.3 does better in both multi and single core scores. Although on single core, it's mostly the same. So multi core scores is where Geekbench sees the biggest result here. But hey, 9.3 seems to be faster here. And just because I always include this, here is the Wi-Fi speed test result. In almost every single case, actually, in every case, iOS 9.3 had better results from the same distance from the router. And I'm pretty sure this is no mistake. I retested it, very, very similar results. So Wi-Fi performance is top notch on 9.3. All right, so guys, there you go. That's my iOS 9.3 versus 9.2.1 speed comparison. So what did we learn doing this? Well, iOS 9.3 has better animations. It's not necessarily faster. In fact, in most tests, it performed poorly, you know, not like it actually poorly, just barely, barely slower than 9.2.1. And 9.2.1 did good. Reduction in animation lag is still very important for me. And 9.3 is a great firmware. It adds a ton of new features, doesn't get slower in fact gets faster in some ways as well why not so stay tuned for many more videos on the upcoming iphone sc and other products soon peace